So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Runcam Split 3. This is the mini version. There's also a nano version for micro builds. Now, this is the Split 3 mini. And what do I think of it? I think the picture quality is absolutely superb compared to everything else that I have used. I've also just got the Foxier Mix 2. I got these two on the same day and I flew them back to back today. However, we're not going to talk so much about the Foxier Mix 2, but I can just tell you that the Split 3 is much, much better much better. It is actually usable video footage. Now, how is the FPV feed? Now, the FPV feed is okay. It's not the greatest. For example, the Fox here, Falcor here, outdoes it uh, not by half, by like, it's 35% better. And, and why do I say that? Well, in the place where I fly, there's these wires just hanging down. And with the Fox here, Falcor, I could kind of get to see them a little bit further away and, and make out more detail. However, with the Split S, I had to get really close to actually notice them. They're pretty thick wire. They're about that thick, just hanging down. And depending on the wind, they kind of change their locations. And I really try to avoid these so I don't ruin my quadcopters, for example, this one, because I needed to review today. So I took it very easy to get that footage in to see how well it was. But there is some sort of noise. Um, it's not that bad. It's more apparent in the DVR. There's this diagonal lines that just come across and I know that's not from the quad because I've tried other cameras with it. I think it could be from the voltage regulators on the main board or it could be, you know, this is picking up some sort of RF signal and acting as an antenna and thus, you know, routing that little, those lines in because I've seen that happen with the 900 megahertz system. I'll probably do a little bit of testing, like adding a really tiny capacitor to the five volt rail on the Runcam split three main board here, which is right there. And what's really nice, it's a 20 by 20, so it'll fit well, actually only 20 by 20. However, the Runcam, the Foxier mix comes uh, 20 by 20 and 30 by 30. But if you want it 20 by 20, you have to remove the PCB, which we'll cover in a later video again. Um, but overall, the clear winner here, without a doubt, is the Runcam Split 3. It is by far one of the best ones they've created. They just need just a slight little boost on their FPV analog video feed. And other than that, I am truly impressed. But the Cadex 4K's analog video feed is worse than this one. Um, it's, it has like a background of a rainbow effect. It's kind of weird. The Fox here mix is like all this bluish tint. Everything is a bluish tint. And, you know, the Runcam split three here is by far the best one so far. Uh, the Cadex is good too, but it does not compare to the uh, Runcam split three here. And I'll leave it at that, guys. I'll have everything linked down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. And also the build video to this guy, if you've missed it, is also linked down below. And as you can tell, it's using Popos, which are really nice. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.